It's all very kind. And uh, just wanted to say a couple things first. And uh, uh, Bill, uh, you mentioned Elsie Hillman. Uh, Elsie was a very dear friend to me and so many others over the years. Uh, we lost her far too soon. Uh, she had just been a leader in so many ways, not just in politics, but uh, in the, her hometown of Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, she had been responsible for so much uh, philanthropy uh, to uh, the universities, the hospitals, the health systems. Uh, we could never thank her enough, and nationally. And she did it more or less in a quiet way. And, uh, and as I said, she passed away a little over a year ago, I guess. It's been, and uh, and uh, it's just uh, we miss her every day. And uh, hey, I just wanted to say thank you for allowing me to join you today. Uh, for uh, National Cancer Prevention Day. Uh, just a, a few things. Everybody I know in this country, it seems, virtually everybody, you know, has a family member or a friend or someone close to them who's been touched by cancer. In my own family, since I've come to Congress, I've, I lost my father-in-law to melanoma. He was actually, he died the day before I was sworn into Congress uh, for the first time, the day before. Uh, I lost my, my, my sister's brother, my brother-in-law, uh, to colorectal cancer in 2010. And, you know, we've dealt with cancer issues. This is just in my family. Uh, so, uh, you know, but everybody's touched by it and so many other issues. So I've, I've tried to take a, a bit of a leadership role on this issue uh, with some of the Skin Cancer uh, Prevention Caucus, uh, also the, uh, the Broader Cancer uh, Caucus. I've been stayed very active on that. Plus, on the Appropriations Committee, we've worked very hard uh, to make sure that the uh, National Institutes of Health are robustly funded. Over the past two years, we have increased funding uh, for the NIH, and again, a good chunk of that money goes to the NCI, National Cancer Institute. Uh, we've increased that funding by $2 billion per year uh, over the last two years. So we went from 30 to $34 billion over two years, and hopefully, touch wood, uh, there will be a budget agreement, I hope, this week. And if that is the case, we will then be able to complete the appropriations bills within 30 days, hopefully, uh, and uh, we would anticipate another significant increase for the NIH, I believe, in that range again of $2 billion. That's a, there you go, you can clap. Don't, don't, don't clap too much yet because we don't have the budget agreement and then you know, we have to still go through a few hoops here. But if we, get, if we reach this budget agreement, I'm very confident that we will get a, a robust increase in, in NIH funding again this year. So that's enormously significant. And one last thing I thought I'd mention, I've been active too on the uh, colorectal cancer had introduced, have introduced legislation uh, repeatedly uh, to try to correct a, a, a defect in the law where if a person um, develops, uh, needs, needs a col colorectal screening under Medicare, they can go and get screened and if, uh, and, uh, but if, if, they, if, if polyps are discovered, uh, Medicare won't pay the co-pays to remove the polyps. Now, all the other insurance programs do that. It's just more or less a glitch in the law. So, in other words, we're trying to encourage people uh, to, you know, get their colonoscopies, and uh, that's great, but then if we discover a polyp, you know, we're going to penalize you for, for the removal. Uh, it really doesn't make much sense, and everybody, it seems, under the sun agrees that this is a good policy to make this change, uh, because this is really what, you know, everybody says, you know, if, that if you spend some money up front, it'll save you money over the long term. Everybody says that, but this is actually the case. It's, it's true in this case, uh, and uh, everyone seems to agree, with, agree to it. So, just wanted to share that with you. With that, I'm going to stop now because you want to hear from my uh, distinguished colleague from uh, suburban Virginia here, uh, Barbara Comstock. Bill?